this auto charge from Rolex is a three phase model which allows the building's three phase supply to be evenly balanced when this charger is connected. A very important consideration when choosing for commercial charging units, whether you use single phase or three phase. The advantage with the three phase is you can use a much smaller cable and run all three phases to the unit and get a much higher output in charge. For example, this charge unit will charge two cars simultaneously at 11 kilowatts. A single phase unit of a similar size to this would probably only charge at seven kilowatts on each outlet. With this auto charge from Rolex, it is connected to the Vend Electric back office software, which can allow either an SSID card to activate the charge, or you can scan the QR code on the side of the unit, which tells the app exactly what charger you're plugged into. The app can be downloaded from the app store, and then any details for payment put into the app. So once you've scanned the QR code, your charge can start and you can set how long you want it to charge for or how much you want to spend on that charge. This auto charge from Rolex is connected to a back office software from Vendelec which allows you to program for the price of charging and can manage fleets and drivers. So if you have a guest come to your office the guest can be on a very cheap tariff or you can set a slightly higher tariff if you want this to be a public facing charging unit. You have the flexibility to also set the back office to a free charge where the charge can be done at certain hours at a zero tariff. Plug in the car in with the lead that it comes with. Plug the car end in first. Taking the lead over to the charger. Lift up the weatherproof flap. Insert the charge lead firmly. You will see with this model, the LEDs stop flashing when the car is asked for a charge and it will be locked into the charger. People can't stop your charge or take your lead. After completing the charge, you need to stop the charge from the car, then remove the lead at the car end first. That will allow the charge end to be released internally. So you can lift the flap and remove the lead. If you try removing the lead at the charger end first, the interlock that is built into the charger won't allow the cable to come out. 